If you guys haven't seen this already. The most dramatic is me. I, so, I can't help but feel like dogs are more dramatic, but that's because I have a Shiba Inu. Right? And Shiba Inus are basically cat dogs. And they're known to be ultra dramatic. So, I may feel like it's dogs only because I have a Shiba. <laughs> um, so these are... Black cherry pies. Looped in spring swapped. Looped film spring swap. Yeah. But... What is that? That's me. My dirty fingers. This is a zenith. Oh, that's cool. You see the three right here? I haven't really built that many Rama boards. Um, I've built a thermal. I've built two thermals. I'm trying to think what other Rama boards I've built. But I think that's about it. No, this is a client. Miss Poner? Like John? Uh, the switches are Black Cherry Pies, Desky Films, 205G0, Spring Swapped to uh, 60 gram Slow Springs. Hi, Naughty. What's up? Um, they are Spirit Black Bird. Nice tattoo, thanks. Spirit, yeah. I don't... When did the Zenith go... When was the Zenith in group by? I... I don't really keep up with Rama works anymore. Um... Last time I saw, they were like... Selling a bat. That's like the last thing I saw from them. Like, they were selling a baseball bat. And there was one other thing. The coffee related? But yeah, it was like a baseball bat. And then something coffee related. And that's like the last I saw. <laughs> okay. Here's everything. FR4 half plate. FR4 half plate. Oh, has the new Wordle came out yet? Does anyone know? Hey, from Hebe, so she's working on a case. Oh, hi, Mord. Yeah, so... I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a little bit of... drama... between... the two... Lot invoice is out. Oh my god. Did they just get out? Alright, I'm being fucking flamed on Twitter right now. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore it. I didn't win. Did anyone win? Let me see. Anyone I know win?
Dang. No. Yeah, I don't win. No, I'm not. Scar said, thank you for helping me clean it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Anyways, moving on. Test this PCB. I am building a keyboard. I'm testing the PCB right now. Making sure it works. I did not win that. GPBT keycaps good? What are GPBT keycaps? Oh, glorious. Oh, uh, um. I don't support glorious because of multiple reasons um as far as their quality i have no clue i have never used them so i don't actually know and yeah i just i personally would not support them but from like But setting my bias aside, I've never used them, so I would not be able to tell you the quality. Right. Right, it's all working. You're so cute. You hear that, Chonga? Saying you're so cute. Chonga, Chonga's getting, Chonga's getting swole. <laughs> Let's see, all right. All right, stabilizers. Stabilizers. Oh, let me make sure I look at this correctly before we... Uh, let's see. Wants... Standard cap lock, 6.25 view bottom row, full backspace. Okay. A glorious PPT keycaps good. I have never used them, so I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not I'm I'm not trying to avoid telling you, it's literally I have no clue if they're good or not, because I've never used them. Will they fit the Tofu 65? If they are MX, which I'm pretty sure they are, then they will, yes. Okay, let's see, 6.25 right here. One right here. One right here. Full backspace, standard caps right here. So, do do. Okay. So, I don't need this one. How's WoW been? Um, it's been good. So we got a new tank and, um, it's transitioning pretty well. We actually stopped recruitment because we have 25 people. Um, we've had a lot of people, like, wanting to come back. Which has been really nice. Like, glad that people have an interest in the game anymore. But it's kind of, like, unfortunate that we can't let everyone back because there's not enough, like, room. Please check. Those those will fit a Tofu 65. Like. They'll they'll fit.
You need to know about my guild stuff? Yeah, so we actually have 25 people. And a few more people have been wanting to come back. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have enough room. So I've had to tell them, like, um, can't come back. We don't have any room right now. Um, understand if you want to go find a new guild. But, you know, it's, it's like, pretty nice. Because most of them have been like, no, just let us know. We're in no rush. What is the switches? What do you mean? I feel like you're trolling me right now. I'm using black cherry pies. Alright, we need to tune these. <laughs> I bet like Raz's um <laughs> Raz's like <gasps> mod radar in his head is like <laughs> red. <laughs> red. Man, you guys, um... You guys make it seem like I deprive you guys of stabilizer content, but... Do I really? This one? This one stab right here is perfectly straight. Good job. Good job, Mr. Stab. You're graduated. Number one in your class. These other two... We're gonna need to work on them. This one, though? Perfect. I know. Actually, I had a TikTok um, with the Owl Lab stabilizers, and I don't know why. It's so weird. I don't get TikTok. It's like some videos I'm really proud of do really well. I mean, the like the ones I'm proud of don't do well at all, and like. Some of them that I put so little effort into, like, do super well, and I just, I just don't get it. Okay, so let's see. So looking at my TikTok... So let's see... Like, look! See? All of these I thought were like so cute and so good, right? But they don't get any views. And then this one just randomly has like, you know, a bunch of likes after me not like posting in it. Wait, you can do dark mode? There's dark mode in TikTok? How do I do that? All right, I'll look for it later. All right, tune in. Settings? Okay, I'll look at it later. People love stabs. Are you sure about that? I know, Chonga, you fueled the fire. <laughs> you fueled the fire.
I don't play Minecraft. This is just a little bit. No, still needs a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, I do play World of Warcraft. If this is like, this is a struggle because you do one side and then the other side starts picking. Oh, wait, this one's done. Okay, okay. Th this one's just a little... This one's just a little bit. A little bit. Just a smidge. FR4 half plate. No! Damn it. Ah. This one... Hmm. This one, just like a little tight. So this is the struggle of balancing wires that are really close to being tuned or straight. It's like, you bend it one way just slightly, and then you have to bend the other side. And it's just like this ongoing cycle. Until you get it just correct. Just correct. Just like a smidgen. Let me check this side. Hmm. Hmm, I see. This is actually... This is not... Let me try bending it this way. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll just bend it up. Just bend it a smidge. Okay. No, no. Monday's a holiday, yeah. It is I'm okay. Okay. Whew. You need to check if gym is open. Being Chonga. How much did you put on? Like how much muscle do you have? Do you know your muscle mass now?
This one's bad. Hellcat made it look so easy and fast when you fast forward the step in videos. Yeah, and then in reality, it's actually like a two hour process. <laughs> You're cutting right now, though? I see. Okay, we'll go... Just a little bit... Okay, and then we bend it a little bit here. I made it worse. Okay, go back. Okay, so just just a little smidgen. Just a little smidgen. Just a little bit. Damn it. Okay, okay. Just just a tad. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little bit. A tap 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 the side. I think the side's just slightly. Okay, okay. And then this side, slightly down. Okay. Here's hoping. Here's hoping! Okay, and then we... Bend it this way. Oh, wrong way! Wrong way! Fuck the struggle. No, I have to bend this one just slightly. Just slightly. I made it worse. <laughs> no! Hold on, let me look. Okay, it's, it's right here. Right here. Okay, moment of truth. And space bar wires are just the bane of my existence. No, I just made it so much worse. What? You flip it. Let 
this is really necessary? Um, it depends. I like doing it. Uh, because I don't like doing stabilizer mods. Like holy, upsy. I like to just have straight bars and, you know, just loop and then be good. So while it might not seem necessary to you, I like doing it for my client. Because I want to make sure they have good space bars. It is painful, but you know. Oh, Cinda, thank you for the four month resub. Who do we blame for Scar's keyboard cleaning? You blame Scara. Yeah, you, you blame Scar, it's not me. I didn't put it under the water. Alright. <laughs> so spacebar wires are the hardest because you have to like balance this side. And then you also have to balance this side. And then the thing is if you think it's straight, then you have to flip it to the other side. Because this could just be curved, so it feels straight, but whenever you turn it, and if this part is curved, then when you hit it, you're just like, oh wait. But like, this side feels okay. I need tremble and some copper tape. Do I? So now right here. Yeah, that's why... That's why, like... Can you guys tell me you guys like stab content? Like, what's wrong with you guys? Hi, popcorn. You hate finally getting the stabilizer fun, then realizing elbows aren't square. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is straight. Finally, okay. Yeah, so the um the new Mikibo checkout kind of threw me off because I I tried to I accidentally like. Oh, thank you for the follow. I pressed like Bioshop Pay without putting 
everything else in my cart. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Hi, Kujo. Yeah, so I was like adding things into my cart and then I pressed buy with shop pay because I was selected on the one and instead of like taking my whole cart, the one I was selected on, it took me to like check out just for that one. And I was like, wait, that's not right. So then I like go back and then added into my cart. And then I went into, <laughs> then it took me to check out. And then after that, the base was all sold out. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll still buy. The child kids, like, it's fine. Smooch. <laughs> because of your hiatus, I hit on the, um, the maker, the floral artisans. I managed to hit on the blue one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Wait, did you not enter lat, Chonga? Also, thank you, Popcorn. You the best. Fitness account in TikTok? Wait, really? I I just see TikTok. Yeah, you know when you texted me today, I was like... Who is this? <laughs> Snoopy, thank you for the three month resub. You follow Jimbor Sus Sports? I do. Yes. I work out spiritually through him. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's how that works, right? <laughs> Is that a makeup palette ring? This is a nail art. Palette ring, yes. So remember, so Suspoise so was like, we're going to go work out at the hotel's gym, right? And I was like, yeah, you're funny. Ugh. What happened to building a board for Al Kaiser? Alright, Al Kaiser's like, yeah, email me. I emailed him and I never got a response back. And then I I thought about like following up with him. But I um I'm actually building a keyboard for Limit Max now instead. Because I only had it in my budget to build a, like to gift a keyboard to one streamer and so since Al Kaiser didn't want the free keyboard I talked to Max instead he was like yeah I'll take it so yeah sorry Al Kaiser I've been sub to Al Kaiser for almost like like 50 months a long time it's either 50 or 40 I haven't watched Al Kaiser for a long time yeah I was gonna do it for free yeah <laughs> Nail art is it like Hollow Knight. Gets to try to snatch it. Yeah, it's really nice. Only on TikTok? I haven't. Yeah, I was going to give Al Kaiser a keyboard for free. Um, but he was like, send me an email. I sent him an email. I never got a response. So then 
I got in contact with Limit Max, who's like, hell yeah. So, like, as much as I would like to build a keyboard for Alkaiser, I literally, I don't have it in my budget. Thanks, Rosis. So maybe, maybe once it's in my budget again, I'll like reach out, be like, yo, Alkaiser, stop ghosting me. But until then. <laughs> You can send it to me on TikTok? Okay. Hi, John. Welcome back. Also, Kapu, did you just list the One Punch Man workout? That sounds like what One Punch Man did. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I got that reference. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Hi, good night. Good night, R4T Prince. There's no chat overlay? Oh. Why is that? Let me type now. Also, did you post it in the Discord? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Collect day. Oh, you have sunset around one? Nice. I think I remember you saying that, though. Yeah, I don't- I don't know, like, stream elements is just, like... So inconsistent. I don't know why. It's just... Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know what to do. So don't... I don't really want to use Streamlabs. Are you leaving Chopper? Yeah, because like Streamlabs like did that like shady thing. Probably overloaded when everyone jumped. Yeah. Shit. Maybe I just go back. I don't know. Um, so Streamlabs basically took OBS's name and used it as part of their program. So people thought that, you know, Streamlabs had worked out an agreement with OBS, but turns out, like, they used it without their permission. And OBS asked them to not use their name, but they did it anyways, right? And so, Streamlabs was just caught basically copying a bunch of, like, smaller companies and, like, trying to take credit. And since they were, like, so much bigger than these smaller companies, you know... They were able to get away with it. Um, it kind of blew up in their face when, like, they did, like, their website. And they basically just, like, copy pasted like, this other website. And they called them out on Twitter and it blew up. Yeah, so Streamlabs' argument was, like, well, OBS is open source, so, you know, we can use it. But, yeah, pretty much, like, OBS came out, a bunch of different companies came out, or, like, yeah, you know, like, they wanted to work with us, and then later, they basically, like, came out with their own feature and ghosted us. Stuff like that. So, they were basically, 
like stealing ideas from these other companies under the preface of them wanting to work with them, right? And another thing was like they would use streamers' photos without actually asking them for permission, right? Like, I don't know if you know noticed, but like Streamlabs had like Pokemon's photo, you know, on it for a long time. Like she did use Streamlabs, right? But she never gave them permission to like use her photo, but they used it because it drew in people. Um, so it's just like, just like little things like that, you know, kind of shady. But yeah, they basically got caught and Everyone, jump ship. Including me. But, I mean, I moved away from streaming elements, stream elements. Because it was, like, so inconsistent, like, in the first place. It's kind of sad now because it's, like... Like, after moving back to it, I realized, like, why I moved away from it. But there's there's not really, like, other competitors. I mean, I'm sure there are that I would have to look through. But, yeah, it's just... It just sucks that it's so inconsistent. And I, I really enjoyed using Streamlabs because, like... Um... Like, they would tweet for me every time I went live. Uh, now I have to do it manually. Uh, their alerts always worked for me. You know, my chat bot is actually, like, was through them. Stuff like that. But it's like, they're a scummy company. It's kind of like, what do I do? They're like the Amazon of the streaming programs. <laughs> you know? Like, they're evil, but they're so convenient. <laughs> they take from, like, smaller companies. <laughs> yeah. So that that's what... Yeah, that's what Streamlabs did. So I moved everything over to Stream Elements, but like you saw, just like inconsistent. And it sucks because like someone will follow and then I won't know. Or someone will sub and I only see it because I'm reading chat, but... Like, for things that don't show up, I just don't hear about it. And yeah, I just, I just feel bad missing those alerts. Also, are you guys doing okay? This is going to kind of be a late-ish keyboard stream. I mean, I feel like my my keyboard streams, like, maybe normally go longer in general, but, you know. Kind of laid weird. Yeah, I, I had to delay my stream. My, um... My dad brought us back ramen because what happens? He was like telling. So my mom texted him was like, bring back food for us. Your daughter's hungry. And then he brought ramen back for us. And he's like, Patricia, if you're ever hungry, you just tell me I'll bring back food. You know, I just, I don't buy extra sometimes because I don't want to waste it. And I was like, okay. He's like, he's like, when I, when I see a text from my, from my wife that, you know, both my wife and daughter are hungry, you know, it, I just get tears in my eyes because I'm like, you know, 
The ones I love shouldn't be going hungry. So you just tell me I'll bring back food for you. And I was like, okay, dad. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he's just like, he's like, it makes me so sad when I hear like, you two are hungry. <laughs> so, you know, you just text me, I'll bring back food. I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> And he was like, you need more meat? I'm gonna I'm gonna go cook meatballs so you can eat the meat and I'll just eat the meatballs. Men are dumb. It's different when they're dads, okay? Dads are a different level. Dads are built different, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dads are the next stage, yeah. Dads, when you level up. But yeah, my dad... My dad, uh... <laughs> he was saying stuff like that. As far as dad, he cleaned baby and fuss it. He cleans the baby in the sink. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do. He's just practicing. He's just training for those days. Right? <laughs> Keyboard, baby, basically the same thing, right? So heavy. So I have like a really bad habit of like slouching. Like I have extremely bad posture. So I actually, I bought a back brace when I loop switches. Yeah, I actually bought a back brace that I wear when I'm lubing or sitting on my computer for extended period of time. Because I just naturally start to like shrimp. So with the back brace, at least, you know, it kind of like reminds me like, oh, stop slouching. So hard to sit straight, yeah. I thought about getting one of those, like, electronic ones that, you know, like, beep at you whenever you start slouching. But I feel like these ones that actually keep your back in posture, or keep your posture for you, actually works better for me. Personally. Electroshock? Oh my god! I should! I might actually stop slouching. Shrimping is a habit, I know. I'm trying to break it. I'm trying not to slouch, but... Did I ever tell you guys why I started slouching? I was basically traumatized and I didn't want to like have boobs. So I just like started slouching to like hide them. Right? That's. Yeah. I'm gonna check if the key cult works tomorrow. You are giving me a heart attack. You are stressing me out. You are stressing all of us out. <laughs> I can rewatch it. Oh my god. 
Oh, Discord stream? <gasps> I bet Teha is just like crying internally. Until he realized he could invite you over for content. <laughs> Are you gonna do that? You gonna go over and learn how to solder? See how much work goes into it? <laughs> into building the keyboards? You told me to try it. I think your switches might be fucked. But I don't know. It's like such a shame too, because those are like... Those creams are probably so smooth. Two years. Gamer. Creams. Yeah. Dude, people pay a lot of money to get broken in creams. Like, people developed these switch breaking in machines. Yeah, because before it was like, you would have to manually break in the switch. And then people started getting creative and started using machine, like, massage guns to, like, massage the switches. So it was automatically. And then people developed machines that would, like, actuate the switches, like, for a few hours. <laughs> to break in the switches. Yeah. It's just like... People pay... People will do things to get broken in creams. And the fact that yours were like... Two years broken in. And you know they were well used. Because you're a gamer. So... That looks like you were shaping dough. Hello, Rum. How you doing? I just found out you streamed. I mean, you raided me one day and it didn't click in my head, but then someone's like, oh, she streams. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go give her a follow. I'm kind of hoping that the keyboard doesn't work just so Scar will have to build one and then see how much work goes into building a keyboard. And then he'll be like, wow, I appreciate this so much more. <laughs> Either that, or he'll say, fuck this shit. I'm just always going to get someone to build my keyboard from now on. <laughs> oh, it was your 200th? Nice. Congratulations. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm, so I'm going to say this wrong, but ruminative... I, I was just saying Rum is a streamer. Please go give her a follow. And maybe... Maybe it's a good thing that... This happened. Because then Skara will have to... Build the keyboard. And then he'll really start to appreciate it. More. Right? <laughs> R right? <laughs> right, guys? That's, that's how that works, right? What happened with the board? Let's just say someone tried to wash a keyboard in the sink. Oh! That photo. Oh, you've seen it? Yeah, and he's he's trying to put the blame on me, but... I just want to say... I thought he had common sense, okay? <laughs> I thought Jimmy was a smart person. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm the one he messaged was like, can I use soap and water to clean my keyboard? 
and I was like, yeah. But, but, I did go on, and I linked him the key call, how to clean his keyboard. And I was like, if there's hair, just use, like, compressed air. Just use, like, a rag with, like, soap and water to clean down your case. And then, like, a few minutes later, he sends me that photo, and I was like, Wait. Legit jumped out of bed. Was stressing out. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, here's the thing. It's gonna work. I just know in spite of all this, like his keyboard is actually gonna work. And then he's just gonna be like, Haha guys, joke's on you, it works. I'm gonna wash my keyboard with water next time too. Lol. I'm just gonna be like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, I think it's been about a week. We'll see where the saga goes. Did he open the case? No. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll see. I, I don't know what he did. I, I just like... I just, like, <laughs> was so stressed that I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if anything, the switches will be fucked, but it sounds like I'm gonna drag complete. I don't know what he did. I, <laughs> for my own mental health, I just had to not talk to Skara. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of my mental health. <laughs> Had to just avoid talking to you. <gasps> but that's self-care right there. <laughs> ah, yeah. <sighs> It. The thing is, like, I wasn't even watching Scar's stream at the time. I got a message from Vin who was like, It's been, like, it's out. Like, people know. And I was like, wait, what? And then, I joined Scar's stream and hear him talking about it and, like, laughing. And I was like, have you tested it? And he's like, no. I thought we had, like, agreed that we wouldn't talk about it until after we figured out if it was broken or not. <laughs> yeah, and then Jimmy freaking raided him! Oh my god, so BM. I don't know, if by some miracle it ends up, like, not being broken, then, alright, you know, washing your keyboard in the string is the new meta, like, yeah, time to just wash all our keyboards in the sink, but, <laughs> assuming it is broken, could, could get really good content out of it, you know, Scar builds a keyboard. Anything for content, right? That's gonna be like the next... Like this is gonna be remembered for a long time. Hey, remember that one streamer who washed his keyboard? His, like, thousand dollar keyboard in the sink? Like, the more I think about it, the more I think that he planned this. <laughs> um, he's testing it tomorrow, he says. He's testing it tomorrow.
I'm telling you though, it's gonna work. And then you're gonna get you're gonna get people who do the same exact shit. It was like, well, I saw Scar do it and it worked. New meta. I I can see it now. If it actually ends up working. Then you're gonna get all kinds of people <laughs> washing their keyboards like that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Or, if it is broken, maybe I'll just build an, a, another keyboard for him. Only to have him wash it again under a sink. But at least this time I know what to expect, you know? At least this time he's not gonna catch me off guard. Like he did with that one photo. <laughs> Pretty sure it just caught us all off guard at the time. It's not even pet hair. It's his own hair. Oh, my pet's hair. Yeah. Okay. The pet is Scara. Yeah, for real. Uh, is this the bad switch? No, this is the good one. We'll be fine. His, his keyboard will be fine. <laughs> Just knowing him, his keyboard's gonna be fine. And if it isn't fine, he'll, he'll just build a new one. That's just that's just the cycle of life, <laughs> right? Uh, where is my six point two five? This is a black keyboard. E. E. I kind of want to put. All right. Hansi, thank you for the tier one. I don't know why the alert didn't pop up. Thank you. Thank you for the 15 month resub. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Oh, wait, it popped up. Wow. Hello, Hansi. What's up? Stream Elements has been acting up on a bunch of streams. Yeah. Oh, that space bar is so good! Oh my god. That's why... That's why we tune. Did it? Yeah. This stuff content's always worth it. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so I, I got the dark, uh, cause I have a lot of light keycaps and I actually, I really like it. I know the light one was probably more popular, but, uh, I don't know. I, I just felt like the dark was really good. Hmm. Alright, 
and put the plate on. So this is a um, half plate. So I have to be a little bit more aware of making sure that the switches are straight because there's no plate to hold them in place. Um, yeah. So this one I will save and use for later. Honestly, can't wait until I get, you know, like, uh, like a streaming room or like my own office. I, mean, I guess technically this is like my office but i have a lot of like cat stuff in here so i also have to like be more careful because i do have cats right and so i just have to be careful that they don't you know throw up on any of the client's keyboards or do any weird stuff show the cats they are... They're all food comaing right now. Because <laughs> I just ate. He said he wanted regular caps, if I remember. Standard caps lock. Yes. Actually, one of the reasons I got this chair right instead of like one of the like super ergonomic chairs was because i wanted a place that my cats could perch because they've always perched on the back of my chair and so i made sure to get a chair with like a thick backing so they could do exactly that and so that's what they do now Navy Adeli. Do you like it? Your Adeli? Yeah, I got I got this thick cushion specifically for them. So for those who have um, never built with a half plate, um, since there's no plate, basically, if you don't solder your switches straight, um, your switches could have gaps because you have the plate that kind of acts as like the, um, It acts as like a guide to make sure everything is like spaced evenly and whatnot. But when you're plateless, you don't have that plate to help you. So it's important to just make sure that you solder everything on straight. Otherwise, um, you're going to get crooked keys. There's going to be weird spacings and it's just not going to look good. Um, so you can really see it once you put on the keycaps. Like you might think you have soldered everything on correctly, but when you put on the keycaps and you notice there's like different gaps, then you're like, oh man, I gotta redo this one. Oh, Johnny, thank you for the two month resub. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you. You know, you guys just always manage to catch me at my best. Truly candid. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, no problem. That's what I'm here for. If you guys ever have any questions, you know, feel free to ask them. Unless you are, like, trolling me. Don't, don't troll me. I will cry. Not on stream, but off the stream. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> Have you guys seen that, like, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer was like, Don't fuck with me, I will cry. That's like me. Can you use Rama keycaps to play Fortnite? Yeah! Of course. That happens to me too, yeah. I mean, so this thing with like keyboard content. Oh shit, sorry. I feel like I'm still learning a lot. Um, and so I'm like learning with you guys as I go. It might not seem like that, but I am learning with you guys as I go along. Um, he put 6.25 bottom row option. Uh, so I'm guessing it's like... Today you learned you have to be specific with your advice. Same. <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> you have some pretty knowledgeable friends. I do. I'm very lucky. You know, I'm... I'm, I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm like, you know, I can answer all questions, like, comfortably, but it's hard because, you know, sometimes I get questions, so the questions that, like, I struggle the most with answering are, like, keyboard design questions, so, like, why was, why is the keyboard designed like that? And I don't have that, like, designer knowledge to, like, tell you exactly why. And I think that's something that I'm lacking. And I don't know much when it comes to switches. I kind of just, like, okay, so this is, like, pointless to do because they're just all going to fall off. Um, when it comes to switches, there's a lot that I haven't tried. And I'm also not really big into switches. Like, there are some people who will be able to tell you, like... Like, I can tell you very generic things about, like, the difference with, like... Like, short springs, slow springs, long poles, stuff like that. But, you know, there's some people who are just, like, really good at distinguishing the differences between each switch. But for me, it's very surface level. Right? But... That being said, like, switches aren't really my thing like i do not enjoy like tinkering with switches some people really do enjoy that though you know they like they like frankensteining they like buying like new switches to like see what sounds or feels best for them right for me i, I think i'm pretty simple for me i just like light springs if they're light springs or linears, I'll probably like them, right? Wasn't really until like recently that I could maybe kind of tell, you know, like, oh, you know, the springs in these are kind of weird or, um, oh, you know, this stem must be like palm and because it, you know, feels like this. And, but that took me a really long time. You know get to that point it just because like i have no interest in like experimenting with switches i think i'm 
I'm definitely more just like a builder at heart, you know? And I haven't designed any keyboards to know much about design. And while I can make like an educated guess, I don't ever want to say anything with certainty that I'm not like certain. <sighs> oh my god, I thought you were about to say, oh my god, I plugged in the keyboard. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> what keycaps that are you looking for? Yeah, GMK wait times right now are like two years, so GG. All of camping? All of just happened. Camping just happened in R2. But you can... Like, you can find R1. Like, you can find the R1s of those. So. Do you like Ursa? I have Ursa. That's the fucked up thing. A Scar could screw up his keyboard and he'd be like, I want this GMK set. And then everyone be like, Here! Here you go! <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, alright? <laughs> you got that. You got that power. But that's the thing. You say you're not scamming these guys, but people will give it to you. You know? They will just be like, here you go. Just give me a shout out. Say thank you to me. I know, but I'm saying if there's a keycap set you want, you can probably find it. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Except Darling. That one might... I don't know anyone who will give up their Darling. <laughs> GMK Darling. It's an anime set. Good luck. Hi, Manoli. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> wait, 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 Scar. Ask for me too, okay? Just say you need two sets. You know. For funsies. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> okay. I'm not double dipping. Scar and I are in this together, okay? We got in this predicament together. <laughs> Mostly him. But I do feel responsible. <laughs> Who are you? Alright. You're right. Who am I? It was all your fault, right? All you. <laughs> I am a nobody. <laughs> I was not involved in this at all. <laughs> Hello, Manoli. Double tipping. <laughs> did you did you stream today, Manoli? I didn't get the um the oh no, that's Saturday you're streaming, right? Saturday. Yes. Okay. I was like, wait. I didn't get the the stream notification. Damn, Scar is about to just like flex a GMK darling. That people pay for like seven hundred dollars worth. Someone just traded an F one GMK darling and two hundred dollars for a Bauer. Did you hear about that? Jeez, Bauer stonks, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bauer. It's a keyboard. I think... GMK Darling is one of the hardest sets to get, though. I think. If I had to guess. PBT Darling is coming, but... 
Yeah, darling, it's hard. What would be the second one? Olivia? Wait, he already has Olivia. What's the third one? Have you seen Rudy or Botanical? Those are really popular. Um, Frostwitch, yeah. Frostwitch is pretty popular. The Strecker Rank 2 is coming. So. Give <laughs> all the weeps. Yeah, we've said money. <laughs> yeah, Botanical, um, Rudy are pretty good. Pastel Purple Keycaps. Oh, you should look at Tootsie. You know, like Bunny. There's GMK Lavender and GMK Tootsie. There's also Frost Switch. Frost Switch is available now, though. Tootsie and Lavender, you're gonna have to wait. Alright. Blurple has to wait too, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm turning on my fan. We solder. GMK Masterpiece extras. Are there any light purple sets that are out right now? There's Frost Switch, but other than that... Oh yeah, there is GMK Taro. Yeah, there's also PBT Taro. Oh, thanks for the follow. Yeah, if you want PBT Taro, I have that. I bought an extra. But that's not really like all light purple, I guess. Vaporwave? Oh, there's Vaporwave. Dreamscape? When is Dreamscape supposed to come out? Fender ran Frost Switch. Was that Novel Keys? Oh, Switch Mom. I see. If keycaps are causing sluggish stabs, swapping to a different brand of stab is the only thing to fix it. Um, it depends. Which purple? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, it could be... You put maybe potentially too much lube in the stabs because 
if you put too much like 2 5g it can actually cause your stabilizers to be sluggish so that might be a fix um it could be the stab tolerance of the keycaps is like a little too high and it's causing it to also be sluggish so um before like swapping out the stabilizers completely i would say maybe try cleaning it but if you know you didn't put a lot then yeah i would say try a different kind of stabilizers do you actually touch the pins on your soldering uh oh is she uh oh jail connor She's no, she must be so frustrated. Yeah, so I'll show you what I do. So what I do is I, I do touch the pin, but I touch the pin and the pad. So if you look, I do the... Oh, oh that's pointless. Okay, so here, right? Because the pin helps me uh, know where to put it. So I do this, and then I put the solder on, like that. So the pin helps me basically keep my solder, sh keep my iron straight on there, and then I'll just melt it on, put the solder on, like this. Like that. Did you see that? Yeah, so I use it to help me, help guide me, right here. And then I put the solder where the solder iron, the pad, and the pin all touch. It kind of just like melts into place. Like that. So we'll do it again. And just goes into place. Mm -hmm. And you can see. Nice peaks. I'm going to try soldering this weekend. Good luck. Soldering is really fun. Pastel analog jeans. That is true. Warp spacebar, all to use, same fine with different keycaps, you put a new set. Oh, I see. What stabilizers are they? Like, are they Duroc, C3s, TX? Although, Durocs aren't really... Durocs are more lenient, okay? Oh, GMK stabs. I've never heard of GMK stabs. Are, are those new? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know GMK made stabs. Oh. Oh, I see. They're cherry stabs? Yeah, I... I would, um... I would try Duroc. Distinguish between GMK and Cherry, I see. I've never used them, so I don't have any experience with them. 
As you can see, I didn't even know they were a thing. <laughs> Okay, so when you're soldering platelets or anything that has kind of like a loosey-goosey switch, what you want to do is you want to solder in one side first and then do the other side after you got one leg in. So, a little bit of finagling. So you let this side basically cool up, and then you go back and you heat this up again and push it in all the way. Make sure it's like completely straight in there. And then after that has cooled off, then you do this side to secure it into place. Because it's easier to adjust one side than it is to adjust both sides. And so after this is off then you can go back and add more to this leg if you need to mm -hmm. good luck soldering soldering was really scary for me um i watched a few youtube videos and then i had my friend like come into chat and basically like walk me through it but once you kind of get into the flow of soldering it's really relaxing in my opinion um you want to make sure that um you practice safe soldering so for example make sure you use a fan to get the fumes and for extra protection you can use like masks that's what some people do um yeah soldering is it's honestly one of my favorite things to do so you just want to be safe when you're soldering um And you want to make sure you thin your the tip of your iron and clean it. Because if you don't do that, then it might not solder properly. That's like a pain in the butt. And you'll have to like replace your tip like sooner than later. Also, yeah, I thought so. And then you also want to figure out like which temperature works best for you because each person will solder at different temperatures um i like doing 320. some people will do like 300. um some will do 350. it just depends How's the TS100? I like it a lot. Um, it's really small, so it it feels really easy to use. So it's kind of, it feels more natural because it's like a pencil. Um, you can also use it off of like a battery pack. Um, you don't have to plug it in. Uh, so if you ever need to like solder on the go, you know, like this is capable of doing that. Um, yeah. 320 bus? Yeah, I like I like 320. But I like it because it's like small and it's like pretty affordable. Because I actually have a Hakko soldering iron that uh Connor bought for me, but I was kind of scared of using like such a nice soldering iron for my first one because I was like sure I would fuck it up. So I got this like, this is like what, $50 one to um, 
you know, basically learn. And I I haven't swapped it since. I think this is this has been my only iron. And I've used it ever since I first got it. Um Yeah. I just I just haven't felt the need to like swap to the Hako one. Oh it it just like goes up and down. But it's at a static. It should be at a static 320. Um, I've only changed the tip out once. And not because like I needed to, but because I wanted to try a thinner tip. I wanted to try a sharper tip. Because if you look at the two tips. So I didn't swap it out because it stopped working. I just swapped it out because I wanted to try something new. Yeah, I like it. I like it more. Um, it's really good for like precision. So when I do like small components, it's really nice. We have a FR301. What is that? So probably not. <laughs> or maybe I do. So this is hard because like the plate is so much higher. The Hako desoldering gun. I do. I do have a desoldering gun. Yes. Suck my butt. I do indeed have the desoldering gun. This makes your life so much easier. You try going through my Amazon, buying all the soldering supplies? Did it work for you? The Amazon storefront? I set that up a little bit ago. Is it is it handy? Is it convenient? I hope it's convenient. I, I wanted to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Gotta go to lunch. Alright, see you later, Katsu. Is it convenient? Nice. Glad to hear. Both the border agents, so ask my way. I have a gun in my badge. Oh yeah, because you were trying to get a desoldering gun, right? But they don't like... They're not like readily available. <gasps> Buy popcorn! Thanks for stopping by and thanks again. You're the best. Have a good night. Tell your kitty cats I said bye. If you guys don't know popcorn, she owns Mikibo. If you've ever bought things from Mikibo, that's her store. Wait, no, do the popcorn one. That one's too long. <laughs> do popcorn. <laughs> that one's better. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, popcorn. Do they play Minecraft? No? Are we playing it, though? She takes the money? Yeah, she takes all our money.
XXW Minecraft server? No, that would be way too hectic. I would get pissed off. I would build a garden, someone to destroy it, and be like, who did it? Who who wants to die? Who did it? <laughs> Good night, popcorn. Oh. You just want to build a little farm? Same. It would probably be me. Yeah, I'm gonna get pissed off. Is that your Smurf account, Sus? Why would I make a Smurf account? Bro, don't you have alt accounts everywhere? I have alt accounts. <laughs> Is because you use them for other content stuff? Same, dude. Same. I got one I ship post on. I got one for friends and family. And then I got my business one. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, can't forget my mech market one too. For mech market. This one's kind of awkward because the uh, switches and the plate are like a little too tall for me to just like rest this like flat. So I have to, I have to like hold it into place. All right, Chonga. Thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry your best friend left you. Go get swole. Hi, Kristoff. Eh, no. The grind don't stop. True. True, true, true. I would build the Austin tomorrow, except I don't have the switches ready. The urge to build the Austin is very strong, but I don't have the switches ready. Like the urge to build a pair 65. What switches are you gonna use? Um, I don't know. I was probably just gonna spring swap something. Are fierce girls in sale anyway? Any fierce girl switches available?
So you guys want to hear a um a um small world type of deal? So um I was reached out by Owl Labs to do um stabilizer content or feature their stabilizer, right? And so I created a TikTok. I featured them on stream. Uh, so that's that's why I did all that. In case you guys are wondering, um, right here. oh, thank you for the follow. And I was talking to uh, Syra, who um, actually found out that you know he used to play WoW, and he was like, "That's where I learned." ep economics it was like really funny he said that um but i was trying i forget which one of you was telling me how you didn't realize they had like their own website to buy it because went to thock stop and like they weren't listed as the vendor on there which was strange because they are the main vendor right and so I told him, I was like, yeah, like, you guys aren't listed on Thoughtstop for having owl stabs in stock, right? And so I think like, he was planning on emailing them, but he asked if, you know, I knew any U.S. vendors who would be interested in, you know, stocking up owl lab stabilizers. And so, you know, I hit up my boy Kiwi. And turns out, so you guys know Frother, who was Kiwi's partner. Turns out Frother and Syra used to talk, like, before they were both, like, in the keyboard, like, um, before they were both, like, part of a vendor, they used to talk in, like, the keyboard chat rooms, like, way back then. Hi, Tay. And so, Syra didn't know that, um, brother was Kiwi's partner. And he was like, oh, we used to talk together. And then they just, like, reconnected after that, because they are both like, oh, yeah, we used to talk in those chat rooms, but now we're, like, both working, like, with different vendors, like, it's not so funny. <laughs> and so, it's like, it was, like, such a, you know, it was, like, another instance where I was, like, Wow, such a small world. <laughs> Dude, the wind is going crazy. Yeah, so... Key Spencery might be... Selling Owl Stabs soon. Maybe, we'll see. Step content got the step content brings us all together, right? Too bad I never want to do it. There's actually another keyboard builder who spends even longer on stabilizers than I do. Like, I heard one stream, he spent like five and a half hours on stabs. And that was just like him, like, balancing. Like... Not even leaving or anything like that. He was just balancing for the five hours. <laughs> That's huge commitment, yeah. Yeah.
my goal is to become so good at stabilizers, I can do them in like 10 minutes. That's the dream. Have I built a Mr. Suit? I have not. Nope. Have you? These middle ones are very awkward. Rebuilding yours, looking for foam, like to buy or Would it ever be viable to sell modest stabs? It depends because it would have to be on like a stab tester or you like hand them, hand it like directly to them. It's because if you ship stabilizers without it like being, you know, on anything, the lube could shift. So it depends on how you ship them, right? I've actually, I have hand delivered stabilizers before that I've balanced and tuned. Like I, I um, tuned them and then I drove and met, so this is a local pickup. I met the guy, handed it to them, handed it to him and was like, you know, don't shift this. But if you were to, like, ship them, you would have to make sure they don't, like, move around. Which is why it's okay to ship them, like, um, with keyboards, because they don't move around. So it would have to be, like, if you send me a staff tester for me to ship them to you. Or if you have, like, a little stabilizer container. Something like that. Also, we got the confirmation today, speaking of months, that, um, looks like, uh, the new car we ordered is going to be a February car. Smooch. Yeah, are you looking to, like, buy foam, or, like, how to, how you should build your Mr. Suit? Suck my butt. I think Thick Thack has actually, yeah, Thick Thack Thok has built a Mr. Suit, if I remember correctly, that maybe he could help you. How do we summon John? John, we're getting Mala. Let's go. Let's go. Will that work? <laughs> you just rebuild a plate case and pour me a pee for me. Do you do you like your suit? I, I, I've read this really angry review someone had 
just about like owl app keyboards and how it's all like based off of you know foam and stuff and how they like they wish they would do something new and stuff like that right but i don't know i feel like with keyboards that are designed around that you know it's I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's unfair. Right? Like... Criticizing a company... For building their boards around, like, foam... Or... You know, just like, the PE foam. And, like, getting mad at them for, you know... Continuing with that style. And it's kind of like, if... If that's how they want to design the board, like... You know, let them do that. <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't like the style, then just don't buy it, I guess. Yeah. But he was saying stuff like, um, that the company was like predatory because, you know, all their boards sound the same and they're just trying to like do the same thing over and over again. And it was predatory. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't like it, just don't buy it. Yeah, I mean, and I feel bad whenever, you know, people want to buy exclusive boards, but they can't. So then they get mad and, you know, they call like the designer like gatekeepy. I don't like that either. To me, it's kind of like... It's up to the designer whether or not they, like, want to, like, sell their board to you or, like, sell it to the public, right? I don't- I don't think it's gatekeepy to run, like, private group buys. But that's just, like, me personally, though. I think as a designer, if you want to sell- if you want to run a small group buy, you know? That's fine. But for like really exclusive boards, like you see the criticism, like. <sighs> How can, like, I want to buy this board. Oh, you can't. Why not? I have the money. And that's like, does it matter if you have the money, you just can't buy it. They're like, well, that's just like dumb as hell. I have the money. Why can't I buy it? I guess I just don't really understand that mentality. Vin? Vin? Paging Vin! Vin Sanity! Vin! Vin Sanity MS. What if he's taking a dump right now? <laughs> yeah, what if, what if he's just dumping? But why wouldn't he have his phone? I feel like when I take dumps, I have to have my phone. Otherwise, I'd get bored. I 
<laughs> trapped in it on the toilet shit happens. Uh, true, I guess. Or maybe he's one of those types that, like, really needs to focus. Because, because you definitely have those types. Like a dark and silent. Oh. Yeah, so going back to what I was saying, I guess I just feel bad for, you know, designers who want to just, like, do their own thing, but, you know, their boards, like, are really popular and people want to buy it. So then, like, they start getting people asking, like, how do I buy this? When can I buy this? Let me buy this, you know? Thanks for the follow. Hello, Momo boy. Yeah, but that's the thing, is when you tell people that, then they get, like, mad. Yeah. I think I might just do these next three rows because these are like the harder rows because they're in the middle. And so I think I'm just going to do these three first and then go back and do the rest. But it's just like, it's harder because it's in the middle. Yeah, I mean, it, it teaches you like patience, I feel. Like, this, this hobby has taught me patience, if anything. GMK is a medium Buddha's, yeah. And the thing is, like, getting... Oh my gosh. Thank you for the raid! Thank you, Fluffy the Puffle, for the raid. Hello. Were you taking a dump, then? You're bossing? Oh, I see. Okay. It's like the same thing. How's the keeper coming along? It's good. We're doing a uh, plate list build, so... Yeah, it's taking like a little longer to solder, just because I have to make sure the switches are fully inside. Oh, did he really?
I think it's funny that he came to my chat to try and, like, get in contact with you instead of just, like, you know, <laughs> trying other methods. Or maybe he did. <laughs> Let's go to Patty Chat to find Vin. Maple Story Boss, yeah. You're doing your dailies? So it's a little looser over here because it, the PCB is like a little bit more bent. So let's just do the same thing here. Make sure everything is seated in all the way. Once it's seated, then secure the other side. Like that. Let me go back. Oh, I I think I saw your tweet. You're talking about the mammoth. Was it apiaries? Someone posted their mammoth. Oh, good night, Alex. Sleep well. I think the Mammoth just went on group buy, right? Or just went on sale. Oh, I see. Different tweet. I think I saw you post your Mammoth, but I wasn't sure which tweet it was under. How does it feel to, like, solder your own boards now? Does your life feel like it's changed? You love my evil? Thank you. They're all based on my dog. Yeah, soldering is fun. You have to be- you have to practice you have to be safe about it, but it's fun. You like mill maxing? Mill maxing is just like... Some people like the smell of solder fumes? What? What? Can you easily ruin a PCB soldering? It depends if you're holding the solder iron on it for too long. You could potentially, but that's why you, do, you don't want to hold it on there for more than like 10 seconds, right? As long as you're not, like, 
I'm leaving your iron on it? It should be fine. I will say, if it's your first time soldering, make sure you have a desoldering pump or something de to desolder ready. In the event that you do solder for the first time and you make a mistake, right? For example, like you put too much solder on. And it ends up, like, affecting the switch. And yeah, you don't need to push the iron, like, into it. You just kind of let it rest in between. You don't really need any pressure. That's why I let the pins kind of act as a guide. 370 temp desoldering is fun yeah so my thing is like whenever i first started desoldering you know my friend told me the same thing like get a desoldering pump or desoldering wick ready because you might mess up and just having those like ready to go is like a good thing to have because if you end up putting like too much solder or if it like goes into a different hole for whatever reason, you know, you can fix it on the spot. Hi TKL King, what's up? I am wicking, yeah. I do like using desoldering wick more than a hand pump. Maybe I'm the weird one. <clears throat> And plus, I bought a desoldering iron, or desoldering gun, like, pretty much immediately. So, I've never had to use a, a hand pump to desolder, but I have, um, I have used a wick to desolder a board. When my desoldering gun was not working I feel like <laughs> I learned a lot and you know what that was actually Shiro's uh, J02 she wanted me to uh, desolder her board and put creams in it I mean desolder her creams and put um, pinocos in it And <laughs> halfway through, my gun stopped working. Um, so I had told her I was going to ship it out to her the next day. So I basically whipped out my wick and desoldered the entire board with it. Or the rest of the board with it. But like I really learned a lot. But I do think general consensus is people don't like the wig.
Yeah, too high temperatures, you can actually ruin LEDs too. Actually ends up like melting it if you're not careful. Dang it. Not enough hands, I know. It's just kind of like in an awkward position. We're almost done with the plate list side though. And then we have to put keycaps on to check it. Just to make sure everything is like evenly spaced and whatnot. I think one of my hardest builds was the PE foam half plate palm plate one. Oh man, that was tough. Since Molly Patty, do you know how to put a 7v PCB into boot mode? By chance, um, have you tried the escape method? So there's a couple ways you can put in boot loader. There's like the reset, there's like the um the reset button, there's like the two things that you can touch on the pad to reset, and there's also if you see like a row of like soldering pads it's like a row like you can touch two of those together to reset it too you think you re you think you borked it oh no do we does anyone have a 7v pcb that knows how to put in bootloader there's also um uh some go into bootloader like tab and uh what is it it's like two keys that you can also press if the escape method doesn't work It was working before and you redid the gasket. Suddenly it's detecting USB, but it's saying the USB device isn't recognized. You redid the gaskets? That shouldn't involve anything like messing with the PCB though, right? Yeah, that's strange. Uh, I'm assuming you've already tried, like, new USB cables. Um. Or different USB cables. Oh my gosh, those are pretty expensive.
have you maybe whenever you were changing the gaskets maybe like something like popped off have you looked through the have you looked through the pcb to see if anything was like missing or potentially fallen off Hmm. Plate foam or case foam? Mm, I would guess... I would actually guess case foam in most cases. In... I don't say most cases, but if I had to say one, I would say plate. I mean case, because... Especially if it's... A board that doesn't really have that much like reverb or has like a lot of reverb and you put the case foam in it then that like changes the sound profile but that's just me like doing an educated guess maybe someone would disagree with me like depending on the acoustics of the board Um, did you check the you the J JST like the USB end? Connections are fine. Mm -hmm. You know who I ask for keyboard help whenever things are like messed up? I either go to Portal, Jody Boy, or PC load letter most of the time it's pc <laughs> um pc's really good at like troubleshooting those things yeah i mean it's strange that it was working and then it wasn't after putting it back in like the only thing i could think of is maybe um Maybe something got like knocked off while you took it out, but you said you inspected it and you didn't see anything. So yeah, PC is he is so nice. He is so smart when it comes to deep stuff. I always trust his Oh ouch, what the why was that so loud? Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, anytime I'm like confused, I go to PC. And I feel if I ever feel like I'm bothering PC, <laughs> then I go to Jody. <laughs> if I if I don't want to like bother Jody. Actually, no. I think I go to Cordal first. And Cordal's like Oh man, how do I say this? This is, uh... My 2-5.
Okay, so there's... There's different types of people on Discord. There are the people... Whose online status is always true. And then there's the people... Who hide. And they'll be at their computer... But their Discord status is like, invisible. Or idle. Or... Do not disturb. Right? So I guess there's like three types of people. People who are perma do not disturb. People who actually follow what like their Discord actually describes what they're doing. And then people who are whenever they're ready to socialize, they'll be on online. And whenever they don't want to talk, then they're in biz. And Cordal is the type of person who is very honest, very honest person. 